These are some speeded up examples of using a drill frame with my metal lathe adaptation. This is a simple spiral line with no particular purpose other than just a demonstration. Obviously this could be pierced with a 8 inch end mill. All of these examples are speeded up roughly four times. This next example is a pattern that has come up in some lectures recently by the Plumier Society. I sat down after one of those and using corn lathe was able to reproduce the basics of the pattern quite easily in about 20 minutes. It will take some more adjustments and experimentation to reproduce it exactly, but that is not necessary either. This is a 90 degree V bit and I let Cornlay dictate the speeds and feeds. Subsequently I've edited the software to speed it up to nearly this fast. Corn lathe will typically do four passes of 0 0.025 inches depth and then a final pass one-fifth the depth of those ones. These first two lines are simple uh, sign pattern roughly 24 bumps as I recall. And the next two lines after this were inverted. There's a simple checkbox to do this and that's like cutting from the back side of the piece. So this is the pattern further developed. By the way, this is all being cut on a poplar dowel from the hardware store, roughly two inches in diameter. I'm taking a nylon brush to get rid of some of the fuzzies so the pattern shows up a little more clearly. The 90 degree bit has produced a promising diamond pattern in the center of the sign patterns. I moved over a couple of inches and changed to a 60 degree V-bit and started cutting the same pattern to see whether the diamonds would be more like uh, rounded circles or ovals as in the pattern that was described in one of the lectures. Poplar is definitely not the greatest wood to make a finished product out of but it is extremely cheap and readily available. It doesn't hold the pattern particularly well when the detail gets fine and obviously a denser grained wood would be more suitable. And once again, these two lines were inverted to produce the next phase of the pattern. This next clip shows the pattern more fully developed. And I don't have a furrow cutting bit yet, so I just had this V-bit punch a hole in the center of the little dots. It wasn't exactly in the center and the camera does distort its location slightly due to parallax. Uh, 